Joe Biden has a history of stuttering. He did that as a child. All of us know. Embarrassing. I'm no longer going to be a registered Democrat. I'm going to re-register as an independent because I'm not going to just whole cloth support a party that feels the need to insult voters like that. That's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Benjamin, I'm very sorry, man. I usually have a rule against watching videos that I agree with, but like... Vosh is actually embarrassed to even be associated with the left after Biden's poor debate performance. And he isn't the only one. Anna Kasperian from the Young Turks has continued her streak of spitting facts, even saying that she's going to re-register as an independent because of how Democrat politicians responded to this situation. These guys are choked. And while Vosh might have always hated Joe Biden, it would seem they both have a lot in common. Vosh isn't even a fan of Anna or the Young Turks, especially after the horse incident. But it seems he might be willing to put aside the admonishment for his clopping folder in the name of trying to push Biden out. I hear you, brother. And wait till you hear some of the loudest voices urging Biden to stay in the presidential race despite his horrible debate performance last week. And Democrats, meaning the Democratic Party, are even weighing an early formal nomination of Biden in order to squash any efforts to swap him out with a different candidate. Didn't TYT basically say they would refuse to vote for Biden? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think Biden's winning, man. My my interest in advocating for like the vote blue no matter who thing goes down quite a bit when I feel like the blue they want us to vote for is actively impeding us from voting for the other blue that would actually win. Like if Biden ends up being the nominee, like yeah, you gotta go vote for him, but holy Dude, they're killing all of us. Yeah, it looks like that vote blue, no matter who energy, is dying off real quickly amongst the left. It looks like these guys are finally done with being disrespected by the leaders of the Democratic Party. They are tired of being force-fed crap and having to defend it to the public. And honestly, who can blame them in this situation? Vosh and Anna don't even like each other, but watch how much they end up agreeing with each other at the end of this. We're going to get to more on that in just a moment, and it is a spicy story to say the least. Hold on for that. But first, let's talk about the meeting that occurred over the weekend between Joe Biden and his family members. They were in Camp David, and uh, they have decided to blame everyone else for Biden's failure. Uh, while urging Gasly getting the Vosh. Benjamin, you give me a video of Anna Kasparian shit talking Biden after the debate performance, and you're not going to get a lot of disagreement from me. I'm sorry. I'm like pretty furious. It is, it is only because of my uh, Siddhartha like self control and discipline that I'm capable of not just like whipping myself into a frothing rage uh, every time I hit go live on, on the, the, the ineptitude of the Democrats, but like, they are killing us, you know that? They're driving the knife in and they're twisting it. Yeah, sure. You could say this, but yet every time you click live, you're going from one article to the next, to watching this video and that video, all shitting on Biden and the Democrats. Sure, you might be doing it in a calm voice half the time, but that doesn't mean you aren't doing it, Chief. Biden to remain in the race. They argue that Biden was not prepared to pivot more to go on the attack. They're alleging that he was forced to spend more time defending his record rather than outlining his vision for the future. So in that regard, they're blaming the debate moderators. You've just been president for several years. I think you should expect to have to defend your record, but okay. And uh, they also- Yeah, the, the lefty, uh, this is how Bernie can still win versus the neoliberal, this is how Biden can still win. That's true, literally, that's true. Guys, 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 okay? Guys, B Biden can still win. We just have to beat every single poll showing Trump is massively ahead. Uh, we just have to calm the nerves of every single person in the party, both staff and elected officials. We just have to dissuade the 75% of Democrat voters who think that Joe Biden should be replaced with somebody else. You know, we, he can still win. He can still win. So argue that he was overworked and not well rested. And uh, these ridiculous talking points obviously reached uh, the Democratic leadership in Congress. In fact, here's an example from James Clyburn. Yes, it was a bad performance. I've been around these things. I've been a part of debate preparation like before. And I know what, uh, uh, when I see what I call preparation Gomez. overload. And that's exactly what was going on the other night. I saw 
uh, Joe Biden uh, grabbing for uh, words and phrases and even numbers uh, that he was loaded up with. Uh, the next day, he gets to North Carolina. He's I'm noticing Libs admitting it was bad, but never describing how bad it was. Yeah, no, they can't acknowledge it. Like, bad is the first Obama debate against Romney, right? What happened with Joe Biden was like, funda like, okay, after Obama's lackluster performance against Romney, there was not 75% of Democrat voters saying that Obama should drop out and make way for another person. Yeah, it was catastrophic. It wasn't like, oh, he had a bad night. It was like, holy shit, this guy cannot win. You know, wheeling and he uh, captivated the audience. I believe on uh, Friday in North Carolina, he had a teleprompter. Joe Biden has a history of stuttering. He did that as a child. All of us know. Embarrassing. How stutterers operate. I went to school with one. Uh, so when you have wor uh, trouble getting out of word. An another like octogenarian Democrat, by the way, lecturing us that what we saw didn't happen, you know? Ignore the evidence of your eyes and ears. Joe Biden just stuttered. That's what happened up there. He was stuttering. That was the nature of what he was doing up there. It wasn't a complete inability to communicate. It was just stuttering, you know? That is what comes from stuttering. But when he expressed opinions, he was on the money uh, with the opinions. He may not have gotten the word uh, mm -hmm. out, but the thoughts were great. Oh, that. Thank you, Clyburn. Ah, oh, that's great. It's good to know that in the land of thought, Biden was nailing it. You know, that's fantastic. I love Th this is this is like establishment Democrats for you. They hate you, dude. They hate you. They hate you. You have no idea how much they hate you. Your fragile mind would be burnt to a crisp if you could for a moment experience the amount of hatred the average senile institutionalist centrist Democrat feels for the median voter for one femtosecond, okay? It would annihilate you. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm no longer I'm going to be a registered Democrat. I'm going to re-register as an independent because I'm not going to just whole cloth support a party that feels the need to insult voters like that. I, yeah, I don't give a shit. Say it, spit it, sister. Whatever the f I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, it's that was a, insulting and disrespectful to say the least. Okay. That's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Benjamin. I'm very sorry, man. I usually have a rule against watching videos that I agree with, but like, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, they're kind of on point with this one. You know, it's kind of funny how people like Vosh and Anna are getting so much more reasonable as time closes in and the panic rises. If I didn't know any better, I would say Vosh and Anna were good friends. But as much as it is fun to point and laugh, they kind of have a point. The establishment Democrats are totally screwing them. This has got to be one of the least respectful ways I've seen a political party treat its voters. And it's no surprise that people like Anna and Vosh are agreeing on something that is just so blatantly obvious that even a blind man could see it. And I gotta say, this whole stuttering BS is just absurd. They've been using this for cover for Biden for longer than I could remember, honestly. And I gotta say, personally, I used to go to speech therapy for stuttering when I was really young. And yeah, I never sounded even remotely like this, and neither did anybody else in the class. This clearly isn't just a stutter. There's a possibility that might be making it just a bit worse, but I think we could all say that definitely isn't the majority of it. But you know, good for Anna. She has actually been having a string of decent takes recently and honestly seems like she's fed up with being a mouthpiece. So much so that she's publicly talking about re-registering as an independent. And while there's a possibility that could be bait for TYT to draw in more center-right viewers because their audience really has been dwindling as of late, it could also be legit. I mean, I could only imagine being a Democrat mouthpiece for as many years as Anna. It would probably break me too. I know why they're doing it. Because a third of the country will believe anything a Democratic leader says. Just They've, like a third of the country will believe anything the Trump camp says. 100%.
MAGA through and through. Let's keep it real. No, Continue. now I'm positive yeah. there's blue MAGA, and I'm deeply, deeply disappointed. Uh, but I, and me, you know, you can say, hey, Cenk, you know what? You're naive. Of course, Democrats are just as deluded as Republicans, but it didn't seem like it. Republicans have staked their claim to a number of things that are preposterously untrue, but now the Democrats have joined them. The difference is Republicans fear their constituency. Republicans might lie constantly, they might present a completely different worldview, but Republicans will adjust their messaging and strategy to accommodate the interests and voting preferences of their constituency. This is known as a um, democracy, where the party does stuff that the voters of the party want. Meanwhile, over with the f***ing Democrats, they don't give a shit, dude. Jeez, Biden really sparked one hell of a forest fire in the Democratic Party. It would seem that everyone that isn't a part of Biden's inner circle is having a complete meltdown. They can all see the coming storm that is the election. It's quite literally that scene from SpongeBob with everyone running around in his head in panic. But let's take a second and think about this honestly for a second. Does the Democratic Party even have time enough to make this swap? Because not only do they need to make this swap, they need enough time for whoever they swap them with to be able to campaign on whatever they intend to run on. And when you really think about it, the quickest way to do that would be to anoint Kamala and then just copy and paste everything Biden was planning. But the problem with that is everyone hates Kamala even her own party. So when you take time to think about it, I don't think that could actually be successful. And then when you go with anyone else, there just isn't enough time. Vosh could see this, Anna could see this, and a lot of people of the left could see this, which is exactly why they're freaking out so much day by day. Cause they could see the writing on the wall. They're gonna be stuck with Joe Biden and whatever that means for the left when it comes to the election down ballot. Saying that Biden, it was his staff. How did his staff make him 81? How did his staff make him forget everything he was saying? They're throwing Anita Come on. Dunn. They're throwing Anita Dunn under the bus. That's the senior advisor. Who if you, uh, if you, the voting majority, tell the Democrats, 75 percent apparently, hey, we don't want Biden to be the head. The f arrogant Clintonite neoliberal dipshits who run the party from New York City are going to tell you, mm, no, sweetie, sorry, you don't know what's best for you. Don't worry, we know how to run this party just fine. You'll vote for these guys. You'll vote for Hillary Clinton. We know she's incredibly unpopular and nobody likes her and there's a million signs that she's doing poorly and she flubs constantly. No, we know best, sweetie. It's her turn. You know, this kind of reminds me a lot of game developers that just won't listen to their audience. They just keep shoving down everyone's throat what they think they want and just telling the audience, you think you do, but you don't. The difference with developers is normally they end up getting the hint right before it sends the company into failure and at least attempt to solve it even though it's far too late. But I really just don't see the Democratic Party ever reversing course. They could get absolutely decimated this upcoming election and honestly I think all they would do is lick their wounds and run it back again doing the same thing in 2028. I don't think they're ever going to admit that they did something wrong. The establishment is just gonna hold on to their power by any means necessary and continue to snuff out any new ideas that present themselves, just like they always have. All right, guys, I just wanted to say thanks for all the new subscribers I've gotten recently. I really didn't expect that, but I'm glad to have you guys on board. And we have some big things coming up soon, so stay tuned. All right, well, if you wanna watch another video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one right here.